What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hall's Capital video. Uh, today's video, I want to share with you guys how to go ahead and claim your FMOS airdrop. Uh, we're going to go through trying to claim it through two different wallets, the MetaMask wallet and the Kepler wallet. Uh, should be fairly similar in the same. I know there have been a lot of issues and problems that the team has been trying to work out in getting people uh, eligible to actually get and claim their drop. Um, Kepler's not recognized it. Many wallets don't even show that people are eligible for the address uh, so there's a lot of problems right now um so don't don't panic if you're not able to get your drop yet a lot of people uh, are still waiting so let's go ahead let's jump right into this one i'm going to show you guys how to claim uh this rec drop or whatever you want to call it this evmos drop based off of uh the metamask wallet right now i've got my metamask uh connected to this uh there's a couple of different things in which you can do if you want to go ahead and try to make yourself eligible for this uh one thing i would say would be come on over here uh, to the governance proposals. Uh, there is a governance proposal right now in which you're going to want to go ahead and vote uh, for this one. So what you would do is just get started, connect your wallet. You're going to want to have, uh, have it connected to whichever wallet that you believe is eligible. If you need to get the Evmos, uh, if you need to get your Evmos uh account set up in the metamask you can go to chainlist.org and chainlist will already have it set for you where it'll just put the rpc and everything in the back end now many of the wallets that i did have that this was eligible for i noticed that they did get the little drop so i can do voting claiming and all those different things uh with this 0 0.001 vote uh, that you have uh in there you should be able to do everything you need to initiate uh the actual uh, governance vote. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's get that started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'll do airdrop. I'm going to do the vote. I'm going to hit yes on that. I'm going to hit next. Uh, transaction will be sent to MetaMask browser for a confirmation. Hit send on that one. Generate public key. All right. We'll go ahead and sign that. Uh, it's just asking me to go ahead. Let's just review everything. Make sure voting voter. That looks good to me. I'll hit yes on that. Give it a couple of seconds. There we go. Successful. We have voted to claim our airdrop. So now <clears throat> when we go back to the dashboard, we can see that I've got the 1.7 available in there. So you see that using that 0 0.001 that I had that was already in the wallet. I just went to governance. I did the vote. I didn't stake anything yet. I just did the vote. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to stake some tokens so that way we can go ahead and start earning some Evmos because right now it's paying a pretty decent interest rate out there. And I know in case you guys haven't seen, uh, there are a lot of people who've already started to earn some fairly decent Evmos rewards and we want you all to be a part of that too. So we're just going to go ahead and do a vote. Uh, the team has actually, and again, um, usually voting outside the top 10 is always best because it helps keep networks decentralized. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to vote with the top um, the top validator that's there. This is also the validator that the FMOS team officially tweeted about, uh, and they were thanking them. So I just figured since, hey, you know what, they're doing that. Let me just come over here and do the little staking opportunity. All right, so I'm going to go ahead over here. I'm going to stake. I'm going to do point. 0.5, so I'll stake um, half an Evmos token on this one just for now, so I can get the other the remaining drop. We'll go hit next, send that to our MetaMask, review everything, make sure everything looks good, verify your chain ID, verify fees, verify a delegator, validator address, sign transaction, wait for it to confirm, and then once it's confirmed, you'll now staking You've done the vote. If you go back to your dashboard again, you should see an additional percentage of your uh, Evmos tokens now drop to you. So now I've got additional, um, and I know I'm supposed to have at least seven available in this wallet. The next thing that I would need to do would be to do like an IBC transfer. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that using the Kepler wallet. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign out of this. All right, so let's go ahead, let's sign out, sign out of here, and now we're going to sign into our Kepler wallet. Let's go to the Kepler, let's make sure we've got the right one that is eligible. This one should be eligible, we'll go get started, connect wallet. Let's go to this, where's my FMOS drop over here? Let's make sure I'm on the right wallet. That's eligible, connect wallet. All right, nope, that's not the right one. Kepler. 
All right, there we go. So this Kepler should be eligible. Now with the Kepler wallet, it will be a little bit different what we're going to have to do. These are some directions that I was able to come across and I found uh, through the Citadel validator page. Uh, they put a little instructions on how to go ahead and claim uh, via the Kepler wallet if you wanted to go ahead and get started on this. So to go ahead and get started on this, uh, to do the Kepler, what we're going to do is we're going to copy our Evmos address over here. Uh, so you, once you have that copied, make sure you've got IBC transferred turned on in your wallet. Hopefully you do. If you've been following any of the videos I've done for you, we've used IBC transfer, so this should automatically be on. Uh, once you've copied that Evmos address, you're going to come to your Osmosis chain over here. Go to the Osmosis chain, come down to IBC transfer. You're going to select new chain transfer. Uh, I already have it in there, so but you guys may not have it in here. When you do new chain transfer, you're going to type channel 204. So channel 204 is the channel you want to receive. Uh, you're going to go ahead and paste your address into there. And now we're going to go ahead and hit next. And I'm going to just send point, uh, zero 0.05. We'll send the point zero 0.05 of the Osmosis uh, as an IBC transfer from Osmosis chain to the Evmos chain. And this should qualify me for 25% of my airdrop for this specific Kepler wallet. This is six different than the actual MetaMask wallet. So let's go to our... Evmos over here and let's see, give it a second. We're gonna wait for everything to come in. Uh, once the Osmos comes in, it should recognize it and then it should update the Evmos balance for us. And we should see that we've got a little bit of uh, Evmos in there. All right, so give me a second on that one. Now I've had a couple of issues. And again, I've reached out to the team. I have not heard anything back yet, which is just a little concerning, but I know they're dealing with uh, you know, a major fire over there with the fact that everyone is upset that they are not able to claim their tokens. Uh, a lot of people are not even showing eligible for tokens. And I myself know for a fact that I should be eligible in at least two different wallets that is not showing right now. So there we go, guys, you see our 0 0.05 osmosis hit. And then I got 45 of the Evmos tokens dropped into the wallet. So that's 25% of the drop. Now we're gonna complete the same steps that we did in the MetaMask to receive uh, the additional 50%. So we should have a total of 75% uh, percent of our full drop in there, all right? So I'm just gonna come back over here and you can do this a couple of different ways, however you guys wanna do it uh, for the staking. I'm just gonna come back over <clears throat> uh, and use right here, which um, the, uh, the again, the same uh, validator in which the Evmos team had uh, spoke and tweeted about. I'm gonna come on over here to governance. I'll go and I'll do my, my vote. I'll vote yes, so I can claim my tokens. Yes, send that to the Kepler value. Verify that everything looks good on here for you. Approve. All right, now that we've done the vote, give it a second and then that should update for us. We'll go to the dashboard and we'll see, yep, they added another 25%. Now we'll go over here to stake. And this time we're gonna head stake with friends. We know friends is another one, uh, another validator. I actually went over friends in a validator video that I did for you guys. Um, they're part of an airdrop that is existing. So if you're delegating to them in a couple of different networks, uh, you may have made that snapshot eligible for uh, the, the new airdrop that's coming. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll stake one for right now, uh, just for the purpose of this video. I'm gonna end up consolidating all my Evmos in the different wallets to one, and then I'll stake it all uh, in one wallet rather than having like 20 here, 100 here, 100 here. Um, I wanna be able to maximize it all from one. All right, so we're delegating one, approve that. Give it a couple of seconds, it should update. There we go, updated. We are now staking. We go back to the dashboard and now we've got 137 of most in there available. So just like that, guys, we're able to go ahead uh, and claim a few of them. Again, I know some people are having issues there are a lot of people who I've been seeing go, um, you know, just on the Twitter uh, and the different social media outlets uh, saying that they're having issues claiming with the ledger. Um, they're having issues staking. It won't let them stake uh, when they're staking. It's not showing any rewards and things. I did have that same problem. Uh, I went to stake in one of the wallets prior to doing this video for you. Uh, and it kept giving me a staking error. I completely like logged out the wallet 
I, I refreshed like the cookies page and refreshed the cache and everything, uh, the cache and everything on this uh, on the on the computer, uh, and then it let me go back in, and then it allowed for the stake to happen. Now I don't know if that's going to be a simple fix for everyone that way, but again, I kind of just like wiped my history, cookies, and everything else when I went back to stake. It let me stake. And as you guys can see, I went through two different wallets, um, MetaMask and the Kepler in this video, and it let me stake fine uh, with no problem. So again, just double check and verify everything. I know the team is working on it. So reach out to them via Discord or Twitter if you need to. So that way uh, you can get your answers to whatever questions you may have. But hopefully, guys, that video was helpful and I will catch you on the next one.